Camera roll, light check, sound check, intro, start on two, one, two. Welcome to Nightline with your hosts Jerry Middleton and analyst Rick Fletcher. Nightline is filmed on the campus of Northeastern High School. Let's join Jerry and Rick in the West Wing for tonight's show. We're here at the baseball park tonight. I'm Jerry Middleton, and joining me as usual is Rick Fletcher. Rick, a beautiful day out. It's an absolutely gorgeous day. The sun is out. It's probably 75, close to 80 degrees. Wind's blowing a little bit, but that's typical for out here. Yeah. So, hey, we're on the road. We're out of the studio. We're getting some fresh air, Jerry. This I, is this is fantastic. I feel like Fox Sports <laughs> before the baseball game here. Yeah, yeah. So, so the uh, the Knights, uh, the the guys are going to play Eastern Hancock here in about 45 minutes. So we're taking advantage of this time, you and I, and we're doing our Nightline show right now. Yep. So here we are. Well, let's start off a little bit with tennis. Now, here's here's some news, breaking news from tennis. All right, let's hear it. Breaking news, the uh, tennis team got beat, you know, 4-1 to by Eastern Hancock. Okay, yeah. However, Eastern Hancock had two transfer students from out of the country that were not eligible to play. So they had to forfeit those two matches, so Knights win. Well, so that instead of being nine and three, they're actually officially they're ten and two. And right now, tonight as we speak, they'll be participating in the finish of the TEC tournament. Yep. And sectionals for them is right around the corner, Jerry. Oh, it's I think it's next week. It's well, start. no, it's right. It's this week. That's right. It is this week. It's uh, Wednesday night. Yep. Uh, they're going to have their sectionals at Richmond, and so it's right around the corner. Uh, so good luck to the ladies. I had an opportunity to speak to the seniors. They got two seniors on the squad. Our our very own Anna Drake is one of them. All okay? right. And Claire Coddington. So I had a real good chat with them. Well, that should be a good chat with those two. Yeah. So why don't we go listen to that? See what they had to say. All right. Let's grab the video. Uh, we're here at Northeastern High School at the tennis courts, and the Lady Knights just got defeated by the Centerville Bulldogs. But nonetheless, they're nine and three on the season, six and two in the conference, so they're having a good year. And yes, I do have sunglasses on. The sun is out, and it's summer-like weather. And I know we've been playing in the snow all year, but not tonight. So I'm here with the two seniors of the squad, Anna Drake. We're all familiar with Anna. We know Anna and, yep. and Claire Coddington. So Anna. Reflect on you being a senior. You got a lot going on. I mean, as a senior, mm -hmm. and also preparing for uh, TEC this Saturday and sectional. So, how are you handling all that? Um, it's really sad to see this all coming to an end because tennis is such a quick season. But it's the most fun you can have in a sport. I mean, it's outside. You just get to know people. Um, tonight, I did have a loss, but um, I had a lot of fun. I always get to play really nice people. So, yeah. So as long as they're nice to you, yes, huh? I can lose to nice people, for sure. <laughs> All right, Claire, also same to you. You're coming to the end of your high school career, and you've been a volleyball player, and you've done other things, tennis. So reflect a little bit looking back on your high school career and what it means to you. Yes, it's a bittersweet moment, and it's all coming to the end, but uh, tennis has been great. Though I've only been playing for two years, I, I've learned a lot, and I'm so thankful that I have an awesome partner, Chloe Cook, that I get to play with uh, every match, and we always have fun, win or loss, so, yeah. All right, so looks like your coach is very enthusiastic, so tell us a little bit about your coach and what your thoughts are on Brandy. So. Yeah, she's always bringing the energy up, whether she's climbing the fence or yelling out for us or giving those, like, um, analogies about ice cream and sprinkles. Um, she's just always fun. Yeah. All right. So uh, Claire, I'll ask you the same thing. Give me the thoughts on your coach. It makes the sport much more enjoyable when you have a coach that's enthusiastic. I can tell you that. And that has made tennis such a good moment in high school for me. And I know the team enjoys it so much. So I was watching the match tonight. Looks like there's a lot of camaraderie amongst all the players, JV and varsity. So you got a lot of youngsters coming up. You guys won't be here, but the coach will be happy to see that. So, well, ladies, uh, this may be the end of your high school careers, but it's not the end. It's only the beginning. So I want to wish you the best. You got the TECs coming up. TECs will be at uh, Try High on Saturday and next uh, Wednesday, I believe, Richmond. 
uh, the Knights will be in the sectionals. So if you get a chance, come on out to see those. These ladies pl uh, play. And back to you guys in the studio. I'll tell you what, Rick, talking, I mean, listen to the girls and talk about Coach Shackles. I may have to go to a tennis match and, and see if she can do her best. Uh, uh, who's the uh, IndyCar driver, Tony Stewart? Yeah. Climbing the fence. Well, she does. You know, they like her. Okay. Yeah. When you're, you like your team. Uh, the coach likes your team, and they're good. They're, yeah. they're, they're nine and ten and two now yeah, with the four there. Yeah. So, you know, they've had a good season. Hopefully, they want to move on uh, from the sectional. And it's just like we'll talk about softball a yeah. little later. Those guys, uh, those ladies there, they have a lot of fun. I get the same thing or the same sense from the ladies over at the tennis team. Yeah. So they really have a lot of good chemistry there. So good luck, ladies. Get out there and support them. They'll be at Richmond High School on this Wednesday, and we'll see what happens. Well, we've got golf. Golf. And golf They're is just knocking it down. I mean, doing what, what golf else? does is win. Yeah, what else can you say? They actually had a three-way last weekend, uh, Jerry, against Monroe Central and Union City. And they shot a 149 as a team. That's fantastic. Which is amazing considering that Coach Beatty said, if we get a 160, we're happy. Yeah, yeah. So 149, you're getting it done. That's 11 strokes. Yeah. That's a punch. So let's go. Who did well? Well, Alex Beatty shot a 34. I've wow. Never, I've never shot a 34 even in putt-putt, okay? So 34 for Alex. Uh, Hay Hayden Sh Shelfin shot a 37, and Dylan Goble shot a 39 in, in that match right there. Wow. Uh, they also beat Hagerstown just barely last week, but they yeah. did beat Hagerstown. Now, their section with Jerry is a little bit different. They're, they're not until June, I don't think. Yeah, they're, it's they're, like one of the last ones to start. Yeah, yeah, so their sectionals uh, will come up, but they've got quite a bit more season to go. <laughs> and they've been playing quite a bit, you know. They've yeah. got uh, you know, a lot of matches. So good luck to those guys, and man, if you can shoot a 34, you're doing good. Oh. So. All right, and, and I think we're moving on the track. Track sectionals are coming up. Well, you, you, there's going to be a common theme here, sectionals. The girls are Tuesday and the boys Thursday, I think? Yes, they are, yep. and they're going to be headed down to Connorsville High School. And that's where they're going to have their uh, their sectionals. Again, th uh, this is Monday, so tomorrow night you're going to have the girls portion of that sectional, and Thursday night you'll have the boys uh, portion of that sectional. So we've got a couple of videos we'd like to show everybody. Oh, yeah. uh, some, some good footage of, of the rest of the seniors. Let me see who they are here. We got Ethan Hazlett, Trace Ferris, Trace we know yep. from football and cheer block and just all around. And Raiden Faust, obviously we know yep. Raiden from from basketball. Uh, and then Drayden Johnson, Jackson Ramsey from cross country and wrestling, and he's a he's a distance runner and track. And Matthew Steven. So we had a good opportunity to chat with these guys. Uh, so let's go see what they have to say. I'm interested on this one. We're back here at the track and it's a beautiful sunny day, probably 75 degrees, kind of a rarity for this spring. We've seen a lot of rain, a lot of cold weather. Uh, so I'm here with the boys track team right now, three seniors. I've got Drayden Johnson, I've got Jackson Ramsey, and I've got Matthew Stephen. How you guys doing? Good. All right, so you're all winding your careers down, right, Drayden? So what are your thoughts on that? Um, out of the four years I've done track for well, the three because of COVID, it's been a fun. I like to thank God and my teammates for always pushing me. It's been a fun time. All right, very good. Jackson, well, you're a multi-sport. You cross country, wrestling, and track, so we've seen a lot of you. So you're going to college next year, is that right? Yeah. Are you planning on running track or cross country? What are, you, what are your thoughts? Uh, I'll probably run cross and track. Okay. All right, so that'll be a good mix for you. No wrestling there, I'm guessing. Is that right, or you're not going to wrestle? I don't think so. All right. That's be a lot because when you get to college, it's a real commitment. Commitment, Matthew, so how long have you been doing track? Uh, I've been doing track since, like, middle school, and I've done cross country for, like, all of high school. All right. What, do, what are your events in track? Uh, usually, like, 4 by 8 and the 8. 
right? So you guys um, had had some a lot of success so far this year, and your coaches tell me that again he, they they have confidence that you're going to move on. So what are your thoughts about when the sectionals, TEC coming up and sectionals, uh, Drayton? Um, we have a very solid team sprinting and long distance. I think as a team, we can pull out the TEC win and sectionals. We can move on. Well, we're going to hope for the best, Jackson. What are your thoughts about the, the upcoming meets? You got the TEC and the sectionals right around the corner. Uh, you know, I'm excited for them. We just got to keep our heads locked in and just trust that God will help us run. All right, Matt. All right, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, you're all right. All right, Matthew, I'll ask you the same thing. Might as well get the everybody's perspective. Um, well, our team's deep. You know, I mean, like, we've put in the work, so, like, it's there. It's just we gotta we gotta show up and give it our all, and what happens happens. Is it hard? And I asked the other guys this: Is it hard? You know, putting your senior activities and tracks right in the middle, of all that. Is that difficult to do, or are you are you able to manage that? Um, I think we have good timing and management for it. Myself, yeah. um, I've always done track, so putting time aside for track and post king, it's been a good time. All right. Well, good luck, fellas. You know, we hope to bring home some trophies. That's what we want. We want trophies. All right. The TEC is this Thursday. I believe that's at Knightstown. And the next Tuesday, we'll start with the track sectional. And I believe that's in Hagerstown. So go out and support your Knights, girls and guys. Uh, so back to you guys in the studio. All right. We're back here at the track, and I'm here with three senior guys out of, I think, probably about eight. Is that right? Something like that? I'm with Ethan Hazlett, Trace Ferris, and Raiden Faust. Uh, so how are you guys doing? Good. Good. All right, you're all seniors this year. So this, you're coming down to not only the end of the school year, but also the end of your track careers and your high school career. So Ethan, what do you think about that? This is actually my first and last year track, so it's pretty exciting. I've learned a lot, and teammates have helped me quite a bit, but senioritis is definitely kicking in. All right, what, is your, what are your events do you do? The Open 400 and the 4x4 relay. All right, Trace, you're kind of famous around here. You've been a football player. You've been a cheer block, you know, aficionado and all that. So everybody knows who you are. So tell me your thoughts of coming down to the end of your senior year. Um, you know, it's a little scary, a little daunting, but, you know, can't really do much about it. Yeah. You plan on going to school next year? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Any ideas where? Probably Purdue. Purdue. Okay. Well, it's a good school. All right. What are you going to be, a doctor or a... Or a big shot tycoon on Wall Street, or you haven't got that far yet. Probably major in anthropology. All right, well, Raiden, uh, we know what you're doing next year. You're going to IU East to play basketball. You, you haven't been in track very long, is that true? Yeah, it's my first year. First year as a senior. What made you decide to come out and uh, run track? Oh, well, I don't have AAU this year, so I like, might as well fill it in with track. All right, so your event is a high jump, and yeah, I guess you're knocking it down. What, what, what are your thoughts on that? I just go out and compete and try to do my best. All right, so we got uh, TECs coming up this week, next week's regionals. Uh, your coaches tell me that you guys have an excellent shot, not only as individuals, but as a team to move on. So, Trace, what, do you, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, you know, we're uh, it's been a really good year. We've been pretty talented, faced a lot of good competition, and I feel like we can go far. Ethan, you concur with Trace. So what are your thoughts on moving on and the things that are coming up? Uh, we're going to work really hard this week, and then Thursday we're going to get it done and go a lot harder the next few meets. All right. So, Raiden, how do you how do you balance between the things you got to do as a senior and the things coming up ending your, your school year plus tracks right in the middle of all that? So how do you balance that? Uh, time management. Uh, my mom helps me with it, and, yeah, I'm just – does your mom and dad help you out? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Without them, we'd be lost, right? Yeah, exactly. All right, fellas. Well, good luck. You know, good luck to all of you. Good luck to the whole team. Uh, all right. So we'll go back to you guys in the studio. Well, you know, the track guys are getting the job done this year too. I mean, they they're consistently consistently finishing in that top three. Yeah. They're doing the meet. They're doing a great job. I believe they were third in the TEC, yeah. if I remember correctly. So they're doing a great job. And the girls, you know, for the numbers yeah. they have, they're they're not doing uh, bad either. Now you have to remember, these are seniors. Last week we had Jill Berger and yeah. and Paige on. Okay, and they're all preparing for. They just had their prom, and they just had their. Uh, they're preparing for graduation. Yep. 
Uh, they're getting ready for college, a lot of them. And so, and now they've got this right in the middle of all that. So this has been very busy for them. You gotta be, you gotta stay focused. Spring yeah. sports are tough. Yeah, they and, are. And, and all that, because there's just so much going on. The weather's starting to get nice. You're like, man, this is great. Uh, you know, at school, I'm ready to get out of here. Yeah. Um, you know, moving Sen to my senioritis next is kicking in for all of them. It's just natural yeah, thing. It's just the way it works. So, you know, um, but their their sectional is coming, I think, at least for the boys and for quite a few of the girls. Uh, track is a sport where you can go move on as an individual yep. or as a team, and the boys have high hopes about moving on as a team. Well, that would be fantastic to move on as a team. That yep. would be huge. Yeah, and that's going to be at Carnesville High School. Again, the girls are on Tuesday night, and the boys are on Thursday night. So get out there and see these kids. Uh, they're, re they're really good. You know, like I was talking to Raiden, this was his first year as a high jumper, and he's winning. Yeah. You know, he's placing, placing first in a lot of these meets, and uh, he's he's thinking, gee, why didn't I do this before? So good luck to you guys, for the seniors. This is it. This is the last thing you're going to do before graduation, and the last thing you're going to do is, as a part of Night Nation is this part of the, your career in Night Nation. So good luck yeah. to you guys. Uh, so we are, we're here at the baseball field. Yeah. We got a ball game going on. Uh, that's going to start here probably in about a half an hour against yeah. Eastern Hancock. You might hear some of the batting practice going on, the teams of the baseball. Well, we're out here in the elements. You can probably hear the wind in the microphone. Oh, yeah. I mean, we got all kinds of things going on here. So that's what's happening. We got to get out of the got to get out of the pod every once in a while to get out amongst the people. So. Well, only when it gets above 70. <laughs> yeah, not not when it's cold. And we've had a lot of rain oh. and cold and played in some miserable conditions. Absolutely. Uh, but the, the nights last week, two and two. Yeah. Kind of the season. That's yeah. what they've been doing, kind of off and on, trying to find that consistency. Uh, they beat... Randolph Southern pretty handily. Yes. They scored 27 yeah, runs. Yeah. You know, you know the bats are going when you do that. Yeah. And they also beat uh, Lincoln. Uh, they they lost to Winchester, a team they could probably beat. Yes, I agree. Uh, and Hagerstown's been a tough one for them because they lost to Hagerstown in the Wayne County tournament and yeah. in the championship. They did get to the championship yeah. of that tournament, but. They're going to have to try to find a way to beat Hagerstown because there's a very good chance, Jerry, that they'll meet them in the semifinals. That's, the, that's what I'm thinking. Of section. You know, the positive thing is the bats are coming around. Yeah. I mean, they're putting some runs on the board now. Um, you know, unlike it did early in the season, to be expected, cold weather and so forth, sometimes you don't want to hit the ball. Yeah, but now we've got yeah. warm weather. It's nice now. Uh, the wind's blowing out at like you know, gauging it correctly here, yeah. uh, you can put some uh, some dreaded launch angle on that thing, and you know maybe get one out of here. But you know, as the weather warms, you should your bat should start to heat up. Get, get one up in the jet stream and the, watch it go. Yeah, that's exactly right. So, you know, good luck luck to them. Their sectional starts next week. Yes, uh, and that would be next Thursday. I believe that would be May 26, just before Memorial and Day weekend. They'll play a five o'clock ball game at Centerville. At Centerville, that's yeah. been the traditional place for the yeah. sectional around here. Uh, so they'll go there, and you know, hopefully they they've got quite a few ball games left. They're, they're playing tonight. I believe they're playing tomorrow night. They're yep. doubleheader against uh, South Adams. South Adams, Adams, and that's going to be a home doubleheader. Yep. That's been a traditional. Uh, they got a makeup game actually on Monday, which is kind of unusual. Yeah, well, and, and it worked out well because if you're not going to play until Thursday, and Blue River is not playing until then, so why wouldn't you play a game just to keep the kids sharp when swinging the bat? Yeah. It's not about winning or losing at that point. Uh, you know, pitch some kids that, that maybe if you get to a pinch, you'll need to throw just to get them an inning or so. Yeah, just stay sharp. Yeah, okay. stay sharp. What the Knights need to do for baseball, from the things that I've seen, is they got to find that consistency. Yes. Uh, when the bats come alive, all of a sudden the, the fielding lets them down. Yep. Okay, so they got to find that spot where they're fielding consistently, pitching consistently, and then hitting consistently. And that's the formula for everybody, right? No Absolutely. Matter, you know, no matter what team you're on, you know, 
the, the, that's the formula and then the knights, you know, the bats come alive and they might find themselves, you know, letting up in the field. You know, things have happened like that. So, well, good luck to them. You know, they get some, they do have a few ball games. They can iron those things out, get on a roll. Be nice if they can go into the uh, sectional on a, on a, on a run. And well, that would be nice. Yeah. So, and it, it, it's just going to, you know, it, you're playing some teams this week that traditionally have been strong, which is South Adams. Traditionally, yep. they're pretty doggone good. Yeah. And then you've had some teams who have struggled the past few years, as in Eastern and Hancock, right. and also in um, uh, Lincoln. Yeah, we've we've both been a part of them yeah. with our kids. Yeah. Part of that South Adams doubleheader, yeah. and we've seen sometimes we played them real tough and beat them. Yeah. And sometimes we just fought them. Okay. Well, I mean, you're uh, would have been Nate senior year. We swept them up there, and they yeah. were ranked fifth in the state. Yeah, and they, they were a very good team. They had yeah. some good players. Absolutely. And, we, and I can remember that one, Jerry. What we. Uh, did we went up there and we kind of hit the hit the baseball from their best pitcher and he, yep. was, he was a good pitcher. Yeah, oh, yeah, he has a pop on the ball. Yeah, he had some yeah. pop. So you know that's what the Knights need to do is get on that roll, win some of these ball games, get sharp. You know, get your get your feeling squared away, and you know get your pitching squared away. Let the hitting just continue on doing what it's doing. And you know, hopefully that'll give them some momentum to go into the sectional. Uh, they're going to play the winner of Union County and Hagerstown. Yep. So potentially, we're thinking it could be Hagerstown. Yep. Uh, you know, Hagerstown—they beat Centerville twice this year. Absolutely. Once in the regular season and once in the Wayne County tourney, uh, and they've had their struggles. No, absolutely. Boy, it looks like they're on a roll right now. Yes. So you got to be prepared. You got to be ready, ready to face these guys. And what better way by? going in there with like a five or six game winning streak yep. to get that done. So good luck with the baseball guys. Uh, so senior night is coming up at some point. I don't know exactly when that probably, is. Probably, it'd probably be tomorrow on yeah. that. All right. With Lincoln. There's only one senior and that's yeah. Peyton Lumpkin. So, yeah. uh, you know, this is the time to do it right now. You're at that point in the season. Well, speaking of teams that are on, not necessarily a winning streak, but they're winning ball games is softball. Oh, softball is on a roll. Now, yes. they did lose a ball game to Newcastle. They had a doubleheader. Uh, they lost the ball game to uh, Newcastle on Saturday in the first game of a doubleheader. Yeah, it was a 10-8 to eight, to eight ball game, so ten, you're there. You're right in. Close ball game, and you know, from what I've heard, they gave it up. Yeah. And that happens sometimes. Yeah. You know, these are high school kids, but they came back in the second game in that doubleheader, 14 to three victory. So they didn't let it affect them too bad. You know, some you know people always talk about these, you know, the games. Why do we the sectionals? You know, looking for the upset. Well, you know, if anyone watched the Dallas Phoenix game last night, oh my goodness, Chris. you saw Dallas flat take it to Phoenix, oh. and Phoenix had nothing. They couldn't, and they were the best team of yep. all season long. Yep. The Phoenix Suns, and they just got railed. I mean, literally run right off the court. So the moral to the story is anybody can beat anybody on a given night and beat them bad. Yeah, if you're a player and a coach, your responsibility is to be ready. You That's know, right. Show up prepared to play physically, mentally. A lot of this, you get softball and baseball especially, a lot of it's mental. It's the mental part of the game and you got to be prepared to uh, uh, to do that. So they were, the, the softball, they've been playing a lot of games. Oh yes. I mean, they, they, they had five games last week. They won four of them. Uh, they beat Centerville. Uh, who else did they beat? Union City. They went yep. up there, a very good Union City team, and beat them. And then they had a great ball game against Hagerstown. Now, they lost yes. to Hagerstown in the Wayne County Tournament Championship game. And that game right there, Jerry, is probably one of the funnest games I was able to watch. I watched almost the whole thing. And that was a fun game. You had, the Knights were struggling with the bats. That's yep. been unusual this year. Yep, absolutely. Because they've been, you know, hitting the ball. But in that game, they were struggling with the bats. However, you had players like Emma Neely, 
uh, Bailey Whistler. They were scratching out runs however they could get them. Well, it was scrappy. It was just a scrappy game. And sometimes you just got to create. Yeah, and that's exactly what they were doing. Uh, and, you know, they found themselves, they were up by a run, and New Hagerstown came back, they were up by the run, up by a run, and the bottom of the fifth, Lily Null comes up with two runners on, and she hits a three-run dinger. Oh! And that put them up for good. And let me tell you, that girl right there, she can just flat out hit the ball. Oh, yeah. Not only can she hit, she can play third base. I mean, yeah. that, nothing gets by her. Uh, so I'm going to say what I've been saying all year about this softball team. Number one, they're a lot of fun to watch. Yep. They, they look like they enjoy themselves. They look like they have good chemistry. That's hard to do sometimes. You Absolutely. You, you, it's hard to get, for high school kids, it's hard to get that chemistry. I think this team, I think Coach Todd Wilson's got this team playing well, right? Right at the right time. You've got sectionals right around the corner, and they look like they're having a lot of fun, and I think, you know, they're going to make some noise in this sectional. They're going to play Centerville on next Tuesday, uh -huh. and I don't know what time that game is. It's either 5 I or 7. I think it's a 5 o'clock game. Yeah, so that's uh, next Tuesday, and the, center, uh, the sectional is at... Union County is I yes. think it's at Union yeah, County. Union County again this year. Yes, traditionally that's kind of yeah. where it's been being held is at Union County. So that's going to be next Tuesday uh, against Centerville, and then after that it's right into the championship game. Yep. And probably waiting for them are going to be the Union County Patriots. Okay? Oh, I'm more, sure of that. More than likely, that would be my guess. A solid team all the way around. They went deep last year. Right into the, at least the regional. I think they almost went, yeah. went to semi state. And, and they're looking at they're looking semi state and beyond this year. Yeah, they they've got a good team. Yeah, I've seen them play, and they've got hitters up and down the lineup, pitchers, multiple pitchers. Not they got solid defense, so it's going to be a tall task. Uh, if you get to them, it's going to be a tall task to beat them, but. That's why they play the game, right? That's why they play it. All right, so after the Hagerstown game, uh, we had a chance to talk to Bailey Whistler and Cam McFarland. And, you know, just to, uh, Bailey, I've said this before, she's a scrappy player. That game against Hagerstown was her kind of game. It was a scrap, scrappy game. And she found herself right in the middle of that thing. Cameron is always finding herself right oh, in the middle yeah. of it. Uh, these guys can execute on, you know, in the field. They know what they're doing and they do it. So let's go see what they, they have to say. Sounds good. All right, we're here at the softball field, and the Lady Knights have just defeated Hagerstown, seven to five in a key TEC matchup. And I'm here with uh, Bailey Whistler and Cameron McFarland. I tell you what, Bailey, this game was a scrappy game right from the get go. What are your thoughts? Oh man, they were yelling. We were yelling. It was. It was intense for sure. Yeah, there was a lot of back and forth there. I noticed that during the game. It was all in fun though, right? For sure. All right, so Cameron, you, your team is on a roll. It's got to be feeling, be feeling pretty good right now. Yeah, it does. Especially yeah. this game, there's a lot of tension at the beginning. Well, yeah, because you guys lost to them in the Rain County, so this was revenge game, I guess. But this, So you get this win. So tell us about going forward. You guys want to stay on a roll. You got a weekend doubleheader against Newcastle. So what are you looking for there? Um, Newcastle's a good team, so it's going to be good competition to get us ready for sectional play. Sectional play is coming up, right, Cameron? So, what do you think? What are your thoughts on the sectionals? Um, sectionals is very. There's a chance to do anything with it. Yeah, so. it's, it's anybody's ball game once once you get into sectionals. All right. So the Knights win. There was a key three-run home run by Lily Null in the bottom of the fifth inning, and that propelled the Knights to this key victory. So back to you guys in the studio. Well, Rick, I'll tell you, you know, like you said, Bailey's having a little knockout year right here. Well, we had a little conversation, her and I, before yeah. we went on, on uh, video, and uh, she mentioned that she listened to one of our nightlines, and I called her pest, a pest, <laughs> all right? And Bailey, let me tell you, that's a high compliment, all yeah. right? You're that ganat, you know? You're just that pain, you know? Yeah. That other teams, you just get on base, you do all the things, you either get a walk or a hit, 
you're right in the middle of things, you solid play at second base, you're doing all the right things, so that's a high compliment. Well, we've got, uh, as you can see now, we're showing some of the Knights warming up here for the, uh, for the game against Eastern Hancock tonight. And uh, something a little bit different we've done in the past. So we're letting the video go and we're just shooting the breeze out here for a little bit. It's a lot of fun. This is good, you know? This is good. So, yeah, there they are. The game's probably going to start in, what, maybe 15 minutes? Probably about minutes. 15 minutes. And uh, so you got the Knights are taking their infield practice. Uh, let me see if I can just kind of give, give us a little uh, view here. And... So this is unprecedented for Nightline, Jerry. We haven't done this before. No, this is, this is the first. Yeah, so we're trying things uh, new. Also, we ought to tell the people, this is probably our next to the last Nightline yeah. uh, for this year. Uh, on our next show that we'll do next week sometime. Yeah. Well, well, maybe we ought to do a little walk down uh, memory lane. So yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's, yeah. it's been a lot of fun. Oh, it's been something. And then we're, we're going to have one more nice of the round table, which we're going to have Coach Oler on okay. for that. And that'll be next week. Yeah. And because uh, his uh, middle school golf is finishing up today. Yeah. So we'll have, uh, we'll do that. And then we'll wrap it up for the, for the season. But we will be back on the air one more time uh, doing a live stream. We'll be live streaming graduation this year. Well, that's I saw that on the schedule. So, yeah. Graduation and senior day. Yeah. So, hey, you know what? That's good. Yeah. That's we ought to be doing those things. And, and that's why we started this whole thing is to get here, and here we are, and it's morphed into <laughs> an animal. It's morphed into things that we do. It's it's getting beyond yeah. our control. So I will say this is the time to plug. We need help. We need help. Next year we're going to need some help. Yeah. We can do a lot more things, a lot of good things. Yeah. This is a lot of fun. You know, we can enjoy ourselves. Uh, and you can enjoy yourself being part of our team. There's going to be some live stream opportunities, I think, next year for, oh, absolutely. for students. Yeah. You know, to come on and, and be commentators. Uh, what you'll find is it's a lot of fun. And you'll learn a lot. And just like we have over the last couple of years doing a live stream and doing this but on our next nightline we'll talk more about yep. how we got to this point and uh, you know what we hoping for the future and we'll probably put a plug in for an ad or two yep. and say we'll be coming for you so all I can say Jerry it's, it's a lot of fun it's it is fun. work it is work okay but it's been fun well we've been about 30 minutes all right you know what that means that means it's time to wrap it up it means time to wrap it up well, I'm Jerry Middleton, and for Rick Fletcher, and for some nice baseball going on out there, it's been another good night.